If you are looking for the perfect accessory and or shoe option to finish off your fall slash winter outfits, this video is for you. What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see from the title, the intro, and all that good stuff. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my go-to accessories and shoe options for this fall winter season. I feel like accessories and shoes definitely makes a difference in your outfits and it really can make or break your set outfit as well as take it to the next level. So in today's video, I'm gonna run you guys through my favorite types of accessories and my favorite types of shoes to do just that. As always, it gets chatty here, so do what you have to do, grab a snack, grab a drink and just kind of relax with me for a bit links to everything will of course be in the description box down below and without further ado let's get into today's video a top must-have accessory for me personally is a go-to fisherman beanie this one right here is from asos if you guys have been watching me for like i don't know the past like three years or so you would know i always 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 am wearing some sort of hat and or headwear and i feel like especially during this time of the year my go-to is definitely a fisherman beanie the difference between a fisherman beanie and just a regular beanie is as you guys can see the fisherman beanie like sits fairly low on your head low-key it doesn't really do anything it doesn't provide any warmth at all i do feel as though it just kind of it's a nice little outfit finisher and for an accessory that is super inexpensive and definitely gives off fall and winter vibes i cannot recommend enough you can get this fisherman beanie again from asos that's like my top place i think each one is under and or around ten dollars and i feel like a fisherman beanie is such a great accessory to kind of make almost in every single outfit that would just be like a regular outfit lean a little bit more towards a fall slash winter look and if you guys don't like fisherman beanies you can of course just opt for a simple hat I'm wearing one of my favorites right now from Cause, and I'll have this link down below as well. I'm just talking about any sort of hat in general. I feel like if you're the type of person, and like I said, you like wearing the more casual stuff, I feel like either a fisherman beanie or a hat will definitely kind of help you in regards to adding an additional layer to your outfits to make it look that much nicer. So even though it is the fall slash winter season, I do feel like a really good pair of frames, definitely an essential for this time of the year. My favorite, favorite, favorite company and brand that makes those said types of frames is Aquila LA, and they specialize in really well-made, high quality, and most importantly, super nice frames. They offer sunglasses as well as blue light glasses, and they just recently dropped a ton of new styles. And so I wanted to kind of take this video to show you guys. I have them in my pocket right now. So the first, style that I want to talk to you guys about is the Kaya and I picked these up in this really nice kind of like smoke gray acetate as you guys can see look at that that is a vibe a hundred percent I feel like something that Aquila LA does really well is they make really great fairly priced well-made frames and they kind of modernize it and I really love the acetate material that their sunglasses come in as you guys can see the quality on these frames are just a 100 I can see myself wearing these types of glasses with just like an all black outfit or even like an all gray one and they're just kind of having like this nice little pop of something that leans a little bit more unique just want to put it on for you guys right here so you guys can see i mean come on you guys already know what it is i feel like especially with the colored lens too which is something that i feel like aquila la does really well they offer their frames and honestly like so much different color options when it comes to not only like the body and the frame of the actual sunglass but also the lens too like if you guys go on their website you will be surprised at how many options that they have as I mentioned earlier, they do offer blue light glasses as well, which if you guys are like me, if you are an aspiring content creator, or if you just kind of do everyday work that involves like looking at a screen or looking at a phone, a really nice pair of blue light glasses is definitely going to be essential for you. So this is again, the new Kaya silhouette, but instead of it being a sunglass, it is in the blue light form and option. I feel like if you're the type of person that you don't like wearing sunglasses, but you kind of just want to, you know, you want to wear some form of lens to kind of elevate your outfit and kind of honestly lean it more towards the smart side of things this is a really good option for you as you guys can see from just like me having it on my face as well as the bureau clips it's definitely a vibe 
something that's really exciting about Aquila LA. They just recently opened up their first ever storefront. So you guys can have the luxury to go to the downtown LA store location, try on the said frames, kind of get a vibe and just kind of see the frames in person. Um, so you guys can kind of get a better idea as to which frame fits your face, which one you guys would want to get yourself. And of course you guys can kind of just experience the vibes that Aquila LA has curated in their new store. So again, if you're interested in getting a nice little discount off of your Aquila LA purchase, definitely be sure to do so. I'll leave it up on the screen and I'll have it linked down below. And much love to Aquila LA for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Another accessory that I always, always, always gravitate to is some sort of bag. I feel like when it comes to the fall and winter seasons, I tend to carry a lot more things just because it's colder. So, you know, you're gonna have to, you gotta make sure you have like a lot of your essentials like on deck and ready to go. So my go-to bag for this time of the year is definitely a really nice oversized tote bag, such as this one right here from Balenciaga. As you guys can see, this bag just within itself goes crazy. The textured leather is so nice in my opinion. I love kind of the an oversized, vibe of this whole entire bag i can fit basically my whole life in here being a content creator you do have to hold a lot of things you have like your laptop your keys your phone your wallet like multiple kind of like external drives and all that stuff um and i'm the type of person i love to stay hydrated as well so i always have a water bottle on me and i live in seattle so i have an umbrella just a lot of shit basically it's an accessory yes that will definitely elevate your look but it's a practical one as well you are obviously carrying your essentials with you so it's just kind of one of those things you know it's a win-win situation and if you you guys don't like tote bags you can always offer just like a casual just like a simple regular shoulder bag again i will have really good links to other alternatives in the description box down below so when it comes to jewelry, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of wearing necklaces or bracelets. Um, I feel like for me personally, the most kind of adventurous I'm gonna get is a couple rings. I just recently collaborated with a local jewelry brand here in Washington called Apps to create and design my own rings. I'm wearing them right now. The one on my pointer ring finger is called the Subtle Flex Ring. And then the one on my pinky ring finger with this nice little lightning bolt emoji kind of engraving situation is called the Casual Flex Ring. These rings right now, are both available for pre-order and i feel like the kind of two rings on one hand you can kind of even low-key if you wanted to wear like another two on this end i feel like that could be a vibe as well but i feel like the two minimum in regards to like having rings on your hand is definitely a vibe i feel like it's kind of my go-to setup when i think of like any sort of jewelry situation if i'm not wearing like a watch which i also really like i always opt for two rings and you guys would know that if you just literally watch any of my other videos i'm always 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 wearing two rings i feel like it is a perfect amount of kind of playing into and dabbling with accessories and jewelry specifically without overdoing it. And humbly speaking, I feel like the rings that I personally designed is definitely a banger. Like I said, they are available for pre-order right now, so definitely be sure to check these out. So switching gears, let's dive into some shoe options that I will be wearing this time of the year. The first one that I wanna talk about is my go-to, go-to, go-to. It is these H&M chunky boots right here. Every single time I talk about these boots, either on my Instagram or on my YouTube channel, you guys seem to go crazy. And I know this because I always link it. And you guys, I see how much people click the link. And it's a lot of people. For those of you guys who are new, you're just stumbling upon this video and you have no idea what the hell the backstory of is with these boots. As you guys can tell, I feel like I kind of mix my style with like more affordable gems with more designer options. And in regards to boots, I've been really wanting for the longest time, the Bottega Lug boots. And I'll be be sure to throw up a photo of that as well. I personally don't want to pay upwards of $2,000 for some really nice boots. Yes, they are nice and I'm sure they're great quality. But that being said, I wanted to find a really good affordable alternative. And I found these from H&M. And the T with these boots right here is these boots are actually from the women's section. I wear whatever the hell it is that I want to wear regardless of whoever it was made for. I feel like even though these are women's boots, I don't give a shit. I, like I said, I wear whatever I want and I feel like if it comes in my size and it looks good, on me and I feel like I can rock it and sport it and pull it off to kind of make it look as though it fits within my aesthetic regardless if it's a men's or women's piece I'm gonna wear it and I feel like a lot of people should kind of adapt that mentality as well um, it's like 2021 20, you know what it is we got to kind of have an open mindset when it comes to these things so going back into the actual boot itself these boots right here I bought them I think like a year or so ago it sold out and it is finally back in stock from H&M so if you guys are like me and you like the whole chunky boot trend but you don't want to spend a lot of money on it I would highly Highly recommend checking these ones out right here. I will leave these linked down below, of course, and I just can't speak highly enough about them. 
All right, so you're watching this video and you are not the type of person that likes to wear boots, you don't like wearing dressy stuff, and you just kind of like to keep things on the more casual side of things. I got you. The other shoe option for the fall winter season that I think would make for a really great kind of item and piece are these New Balance 530s right here. I also picked these up last year and ever since I haven't stopped wearing these. I love pops of navy blue in my outfit. I love it with like an all gray outfit, an all black outfit, even like an all navy blue outfit. I feel like that's a banger as well and so yeah if you're looking for a really good kind of somewhat affordable i'm not gonna say it's affordable because it's like i think it's a hundred it's like over a hundred dollars but if you're looking for a fairly decent price sneaker that isn't gonna break the bank too much i would highly recommend the new balance 530s ever since last year new balance did release these in like a ton of different colors as well if you don't like the blue they make it in like a black white and silver version then um, so i'll try to find those links for you guys and link it down below it is so comfortable on feet i literally could wear these all day and i just feel like it's that nice kind of sporty touch to any outfit something that i love to do is i love to kind of pair the headwear color that i'm wearing with the pops in my shoe so obviously as you can see there's pops of navy blue in here so if i'm wearing an all black outfit kind of what i'm wearing right now i would probably stick with this navy blue cause hat to kind of get you know you know the vibes you know what i'm trying to say all right, you guys, and that is it for my top must-have accessories and shoe options for this fall slash winter season. As I was kind of saying and explaining throughout this whole video, I really do believe that accessories along with shoes can definitely make or break any outfit. And so hopefully this video kind of came through with some inspiration for you guys for this time of the year when you are building and creating your outfits. Much love once again to the team over at Aquila LA for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Again, links to everything will be down below, but you can also go ahead and use my discount code to get yourself a nice little discount off of the said frames definitely be sure to check out their brand new storefront so you guys can kind of experience the frames and Aquila LA as just like a brand in person but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I'm about to film this b-roll get this video out for you guys and hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace